Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick video to show how I deviated from the plans with my baggage door hinge pin. Um, the stock hinge pin has you leave the piano hinge uh, proud of the skin enough so that you can slide the hinge pin in through the top uh, from the outside. Um, I didn't really care for that as I didn't want that hinge to be sticking out much and I didn't kind of want to leave a, a big gap on top there. Uh, so what I did a little differently is I I pulled the hinge in a bit more than the plans called for and you can see that that's kind of hard to tell with something that's reflective like this but the hinge is quite uh, close to the surface of the skin and, and there's you know uh, very obviously no room to stick the pin inside the hinge on top or on the bottom. So what I did is I kind of copied what the plans have you do on the seat back hinges uh, where they have you cut out the, the middle few eyelets so you can slide the pins in from the center. Um, if I were to do, do it just like this on the door, however, you'd have a big gap in here, or you'd be missing eyelets, and that would obviously not be good. So what I did is, again, along those lines, let me see if, if I can show you here, is I created, um, I cut out maybe the inner quarter of the eyelets on three of them. Two on the door side, and one on the airplane side. And then from there, I bent the hinge, ran the hinge pins a bit long. Get that focused over there. And then I bent them like so, so that when they were fully into place, they would pop into these little holes that I drilled just in the, the door there. So that when the door is closed, obviously, I can't really show you, um, that pin can't rotate out if it can't rotate out, it can't come down. Uh, but then this way, the, the door is easily removable. I'm going to try to do this even one-handed here. So you can just obviously see that you can slide the pin down. And the pin is out. And then the pin slides back in. And the same goes with the bottom. Now I did end up doing a little bigger hole on the top. That was the first one I did and I didn't have my dimensions just perfect. Second time I did it, obviously I got it just perfect with a number 40 size hole there. And then uh, since I only cut the maybe the inner quarter of the eyelet of the hinge, you can see that when the door is closed you can't even tell. And it's actually these two here are the ones that are cut, and on the video you actually can't tell at all. Uh, nope. So that's that's how I did it, and it seems to work well so far.